When we say that we will go until the end, I mean that we will go until the end, which means liberation of occupied territories. When I say that we are ready for negotiations, I say we're ready to stop now. You are ready to have an open and honest negotiation with the Armenian Prime Minister. Well, uh, with Armenian Prime Minister, we actually didn't have any negotiations uh, within the last one year, and he is a person whom I do not trust. Happy New Year, everyone. We're starting right off with a conflict that is, by this guy's own words, not nearly over with. All right, Happy New Year. Uh, if you're new to this channel, make sure you press the subscribe button right now. Just you do it right now. It's this thing, this red thing down here. Hit subscribe. Uh, I'm not going to subscribe to this channel, but if I hit that, it turns gray. Do it. There's a bell next to it down here in the right corner. Click that and you'll be able to subscribe to all, but I'm going to unsubscribe because I don't. All right. Um, so do that now. Subscribe and click that bell on my channel. Happy New Year. Let me just start off. I've got a bunch of things I want to cover in this episode. I'm going to try and make it quick, try and make it short. Um, I've been hacked. First thing in the new year, I wake up in the morning and notice um, my Facebook has been hacked. Uh, then we're going to talk about what this guy just admitted. And this brave reporter, if she was an Azerbaijani reporter, she would have gone to prison after this interview. <laughs> but uh, this guy's got to make some kind of public statement to the world. Uh, and then I'm going to read an article from yesterday. Today is January 2nd. I took a day off on January 1st, 2021. But I'm going to read this article. I've only read the beginning of it. So you, I'm going to read it live and comment on it. And then at the very end, I'm going to tell you about not that, this, Christian Podcast Central. Some friends of mine run this website, and we'll talk about it at the end. I'm, I'm on it. Uh, this podcast is featured here. We'll talk about it a little bit. All right, let's get right to it. So Aliyev says here, let's just play it again. Well, when we say that we will go until the end, I mean that we will go until the end, which means liberation of occupied territories. We will go until the end which means the liberation of occupied territories. So this Russia, this Russia negotiated truce, peace deal, whatever you want to call it on November 9th, November 10th. Now this interview was conducted like within days of that being signed, but his stance hasn't changed since that point. He He's saying it's not over. Oh, yes, we'll negotiate. We'll negotiate until the Armenians are gone, right? And, well, a bunch, the next thing he said is, I don't trust Pashinyan. So as much as uh, Armenia hates to hear this, there's a whole lot of Armenians who are in agreement with Aliyev here. They don't trust Pashinyan. Maybe they have reason not to trust him. And I know I've got people that have probably unsubscribed from this channel because I mentioned Pashinyan or I, I don't know. Uh, but there's political upheaval in Armenia right now and unification or unanimity or unity is the first step, is the first step at getting, at progressing and, and having your goals met if you're divided and if you're lynching and assassinating or lynching and killing members of parliament and all right, I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that, but to say that Armenians agree with Azerbaijan over Pashinyan, I mean, it's a fact. He just said, I don't trust Pashinyan. And there's a whole bunch of people rioting in Armenia right now that are in total agreement. So he's happy. He's happy about the rioting and the upheaval in Armenia right now. I don't have the answer to that other than unity. Let's put your differences aside. Look at the facts. I put a video up here that showed why Armenia lost this battle. And I call it a battle because it's only one battle in a big war. And, Pash and Aliyev here is just fessed up to that. We're not done. Right? They, they consider all of Nagorno-Karabakh occupied territory. Right? The Armenians have lost a bunch of territory that they gained in the war in, the, in 1990. And in war, that's what happens. You win a war, you get that territory, and now the Armenians have lost a battle in a bigger war. 
but they want the rest of that territory. And they wouldn't stop there. They want all Armenians gone, not just Artsakh, not just Nagorno-Karabakh. This guy and Erdogan, Turkey. I, I'm, I know I'm preaching to the choir here to a lot of you, but if you're new to this channel and you, you wonder what's going on here, we're trying to get this recognized by the world, this, this hostility and this tiny nation of Artsakh needs to be recognized. Welcome to 2021. All right, now, real quick, I was hacked. I'm not going to go there and, and show you. I'll just go to this and talk about, I woke up yesterday morning and was getting texts from people that I haven't, some that I haven't heard from in a while saying, did you send a message to me? Do you send a message to me? And then I checked my um, instant messenger and that's connected to f my Facebook account, which I don't use much. I have a Facebook account that I set up for uh, my band and we haven't been playing and practicing. And so I haven't visited Facebook much and it looks like my Facebook account sent out notices to probably everybody in my friend group. And I realized I had been hacked. I won't go into the details. I had received a message from someone and then went, I thought it was a friend of mine and I clicked on it and then, you know, that's how it happens. You click on something, they get into your account. So I disabled my Facebook account, which is fine because I don't use it. I didn't, I could have deleted it. I haven't deleted it yet. And then I deleted instant messenger off my phone because I, I, I don't use that much either. There, happy 2021, getting hacked on the first day of the year. I hope that's not a portent of things to come. All right, let me read this. Captured Armenian servicemen should be immediately returned to Armenia. Ombudsman on Aliyev's remarks. And this is today. I'll just start with the quote. Yesterday, on December 31st, 2020, the president of Azerbaijan, when talking about Armenian servicemen being held in captivity in their country, stated that they are not prisoners of war. He also stated that they are arrested and qualified them as terrorists. As the human rights defender of Armenia, I specifically declare that the, the mentioned statement and other similar statements are in gross violation of the post-war humanitarian process and the international human rights protection standards. The statement by the president of Azerbaijan also directly contradicts the requirement reflected in point eight of the trilateral statement signed on November 9th, 2020, which concerns the exchange of prisoners of war or persons who are in other way in other way deprived of liberty. The Armenian servicemen captured by Azerbaijani soldiers should be immediately released and returned to Armenia. This must be done immediately and without any precondition since they have the status of prisoners of war. During and after the war activities, the Azerbaijani authorities have constantly violated, violated the international human rights standards and humanitarian commitments by artificially delaying the return of prisoners of war and captives and not reporting the real number of prisoners of war and captives during the whole process, Azerbaijani authorities have continued torture and inhuman treatment. They have been publicizing videos on torture and inhuman treatment in a targeted way, obstructi obstructing exchange of bodies, etc. The studies and reports of the Office of the Human Rights Defender of Armenia confirmed that the aim of all of these is to cause mental suffering to the families of the prisoners of war to play with emotions of the Armenian society and generate tension in Armenia. The monitoring clearly confirms that in the case of the Azerbaijani authorities, it is necessary to always act with specific guarantees that will ensure full implement implementation of their humanitarian commitments and inviolability of international human rights standards. Thus, I draw the attention of international community and particularly international bodies with human rights protection mandate to mention statement of the president of, the Azerba of Azerbaijan to exclude any violation of the humanitarian process and ensure strict compliance of the process with international human rights standards, the ombudsman said in a statement. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is not good. There are suffering Armenian soldiers captive, being tortured, and Azerbaijan's just holding them, calling them terrorists. It's not over. It's not over. Let's see what happens in 2021. All right, finally, where is it? <clears throat> I keep going to that. 
This is Christian Podcast Central. Uh, this is a bit of a commercial, and I'll be doing this on a fairly regular basis, but just talking about, this is a, a friend of mine who runs this, um, but it, I mean, he's he's got a, a, a business, uh, a production company, actually, and we are looking to working together um, on some projects, in particular, um, my project, uh, my projects. And uh, in the meantime, he is also hosting for those who don't frequent YouTube maybe you have people that you want to send links um, of these videos to that's not really interested in going to YouTube but you watch them on this other you can watch them on this other platform this is the website it's uh, the it's christianpodcastcentral.com and there's a lot of podcasts on here so if you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian but if you want to go and, and listen to some of these other, uh, there's a whole bunch of different podcasts on here. And as you can see, mine are here, the latest podcast. He, he'll take, he doesn't take my daily episodes, but he'll take, you know, once a week or a couple times a week. Usually the more produced ones like this one, which is why I'm doing this. So go visit Christian Podcast Central and, and uh, click around. Um, the, this, it starts off with the latest podcast. And then there's a list, uh, the list of all the podcasts. There's a lot of different podcasts on here. So, and it's all Christian based and um, obviously not all Christians agree about everything. So you're going to hear perspectives and views that you may have not heard of, or that you may disagree with, or that I may disagree with, and that they may disagree with some of the things I say, but that's what we're about. Christians believe in the freedom to uh, share uh, our, our, our faith and our, uh, our faith journey and our experiences and understanding. Um, so, uh, click subscribe. That's my fa last commercial for me on this channel. Click subscribe here on Sovereign Art Sock. Click this button over here and share the video. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow.